and we're rolling. <laughs> hey, vlog boom subscribers and viewers and friends and family and all that. Uh, it's been three months since I made a vlog video of any kind on this channel. And uh, wow, it's been too long, man. Uh, yeah, so just a quick update on what's been going on in my life. Um, if you watched the last video, which was pretty much completely... Yeah, it was three months ago, actually. Three, three months and a few days. Uh, I'm a father now. Uh, my wife and I have a new baby. A uh, little boy. Um, his name's Kirby. And he's just the best. He's my little bundle of joy. He's... Yeah. I'm a little tired, and I apologize if I look a little tired and sound a little tired, but, um, and by the way, um, this is going to be just a one-take video, um, I don't really have it in me, I don't really have it in me to edit this and to trim this down and all that, and, um, actually what I wanted to talk about in this video, uh, kind of needs to come off as unaltered and unedited and un disturbed, you know, so this will be a little rambling and maybe not as tight and coherent as a edited video is, but um, this is how it goes, you know. And I do want to get back to making better edited vlogs and all that, you know. Um, and I actually do have one coming up this week that's going to be really fun and awesome, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um... So anyway, uh, I've been a parent for about three months now, you know, and, uh, and you know, it's, it's been amazing. Um, it's, you know, it, of course it's, it's, it's challenging and difficult and immensely tiring. Um, you know, we've had incredible help and support from friends and family across the board. So if you're watching and you've been gracious enough to help us out with this new adventure in life, uh, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really do mean that. Um, truthfully, you know, being a parent, I don't think it's... This is just my honest opinion. I don't think being becoming a parent is as hard as pe people make it out to be. It's not easy. And we've had a very easy go of it. And he's happy and healthy and we're all happy and healthy and everything's pretty much hunky-dory. So we're very lucky in that regard. And I do recognize that. But, you know, I mean, I mean, really, I don't think it's necessarily that hard. There are hard things about it, but it's not, it's never been like the hardest thing I've ever done. You know, I've had film set jobs that have been a lot harder, frankly. You know, things like that. Maybe that's not fair to say, but um, I don't think it's as hard as people make it out to be. I think it's you're just tired most of the time. You know, you, you don't get as much sleep as you used to, and that's just how it goes, you know. But one thing that was kind of surprising to me about becoming a parent was that I find myself getting much more sort of emotionally sensitive about certain things in life. I, I was always a fairly sensitive person, you know, being a creative type and all that. And, you know, I was always maybe much more sensitive than most people can be, I guess. I'm a sensitive person, okay? But I find myself getting weirdly more sensitive about certain things. Um, yeah, uh, you know, stuff with kids and, you know, you see on the news all these horrible things happening to young kids in other countries and things like that. And even, even in America here, you know, and it just hits you closer to home, you know, um, but more specifically, what I want to talk about in this video is something that. Uh, actually, two things that have happened uh, since my first kid was born back in June. Um, I don't really know how to 
talk about these two things. Um, I guess that what I what I need to say first and foremost is, I don't mean any disrespect to the people who were involved in these two incidents or the friends and family who were affected. You know, I I don't mean I don't mean to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't mean to. I don't know. It's let's just say that these are two very sensitive things that have happened recently. So, um, uh, I guess I'll just start by saying, you know, um, I'm 35 years old and I've been an, a parent of a new baby boy for three months, you know, and I recognize how lucky I am to have that, you know, and to be in good health and to have a beautiful wife, new baby, a job in a career that I like and that also has potential to do, to take me to where I want to really be in life eventually, hopefully. I'm working towards that. And I don't take that for granted at all. I don't take any of that for granted. I'm very, very aware of how lucky I am. So that being said, uh, two people that I knew growing up have passed away since uh, I became a parent. And that obviously those, them passing on has nothing to do with me being a parent, but and I don't want to make this sound like it's all about me because it's not. These two people lost their lives and that's not fair to them at all. And I feel horrible for that. And, you know, and I feel, you know, terrible for the families and for the friends and people who were closer to them than I was, you know. But I don't want to sound conceited, conceited about it either, but it just puts me... How to word this? I, okay, so I'll, I'll just tell you sort of discreetly about the two people. Um, one of them was someone that I went to high school with, uh, who was my age. I'm going to try to keep this uh, as nondescript as I possibly can because I don't think it's fair to the people or to the families if they don't want, you know, all the details out there. There's a car going by. <laughs> That's what the light was. So, anyway, the, the the first person was someone that I went to high, someone that I went to high school with, and was about my age. I think you know. I think they were in my year. Um, actually, my best friend in high school, who was also my best man at my wedding a few years ago, he knew this person uh, much more closely than I did. Um, and I had to break the news to my friend that, that this person passed away. And uh, he was destroyed about it, of course, you know. Um, and that's that's all I, I really know about that, about that situation and that person's uh, passing. I don't know how they passed away. I've actually reached out to a few people that I went to high school with in Facebook that, you know, that we all knew each other and such. And... I haven't heard back from them yet, so I can't say one, one way or the other, but, um, yeah, um, this person was my age, thereabouts, mid-30s, you know, and of course, on their Facebook page, you see all these posts about, you know, what, what a great person they were, and this person was, they, they, were, they were an incredibly, you know, gracious and generous soul, a very talented person, too, um, we all went. To, we all went to performing arts high school, and uh, so we did a lot of performing, obviously, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I, again, I, I don't know how they passed on. I don't know what the circumstances were. Um, I'd like to find out. I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries when I ask people about it. But you know, it's just curiosity, I suppose. But um, anyway, so 
that situation happened. And then, um, in addition to that, um, the second person that passed away, this one kind of hit me personally a little deeper. Um, so, uh, this person, the second person, I actually went to elementary school and middle school with, and this lighting's not great. Whatever. It's dramatic, I guess. Back to the subject. Um, this person I went to elementary school and, uh, middle school with, and the truth is, this person... bullied me for a long time. Um, me and other kids too. This person did a lot of bullying and I, I don't mean to disparage the dead. I really don't. Um, but that is objectively what happened. This person was a bully when we were younger, you know, and just to put this into perspective, this person bullied me almost daily. <laughs> Um, we shared the same bus stop, uh, in middle school and literally every day, morning and afternoon, this person gave me a hard time. Uh, usually verbally, you know, uh, typical middle school stuff, like n nothing terribly, you know, life changing or threatening even. It was just, you know, middle school insecurity going back and forth, you know, um, it was almost always verbal, but it, it did get physical twice actually. And, uh, and by physical, I mean that like this person put me in a headlock, you know, excuse me. Um, so, I mean, it, it was never really that bad, but at the time it really, really hurt my feelings, you know, and I remember saying at one point that I wanted this person to die, you know, not that I wanted them to die. Obviously I certainly don't, didn't mean that then. And I don't mean that now at all. But when this person was giving me a hard time, that's how I, I that's what I said in a fit of anger, let's say. But, um, anyway, I, I sort of randomly found out that, uh, this person passed away last June. Um, I don't know if I should say how they passed away, but it was, let's just say it was extremely unfortunate. Okay. And, you know, weirdly, like, the first guy that I went to high school with that passed away, you know, um, I liked him a lot. He was a great human being, you know. I wasn't terribly close friends with him, but he was a very, you know lovely person um the bully the other person um I, I i hate to say that that one i hate to say that of the two deaths that that one cuts me deeper but it kind of does in a way i don't feel good about it i i don't i don't want this person to be dead I would never want that for anyone, you know, even if they were a bully to me or not, or even if they were worse to me somehow, I, I wouldn't want that for them because no one deserves that, you know? I just... I don't know how to put... I don't know how to put it into my head that two people who were in their mid-30s like I am were just taken. I, I don't know how to put that into my head. I don't know how to be okay with that. Um... I mean, neither of these people, I was n never really particularly close friends with either of them, you know. That doesn't matter. I... 
I don't know, I don't know how to process that, you know? I don't know how to be okay with being as lucky as I am in my life in 35 years. You know, having a family and having a wife and a baby and a career that I like and all that. And these two people just don't even have their lives anymore. What do you say? What What do you do? What What What, what do you... What is there to say or do that can make this be okay? You know? I don't know, man. Maybe maybe making this video is a mistake. I don't know. I, 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 and I feel like I'm making this all about me. And maybe... Maybe I maybe that's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> but but nothing. That's just it's just life, you know? Good and bad things happen to good and bad people. It's it's there's never there's no plan. There's no reason. There's no, like, there's no this answer to it, you know? I mean, I, I, it, it sounds so heartless, but I guess it's just, we just don't all make it through, you know? 35 years old, 35. These people, these people were mid thirties, you know, they, they, they have decades left. Decades, you know, we're not. We're not senior citizens that are just, you know, reasonably passing away at a reasonable age, you know? It's just... It's just how it is. And... It's a shitty, shitty... Reality, you know. So, <sighs> anyway, I've been rambling about this for eighteen minutes now. If if anyone's still watching this at this point, you know, thank you. I guess for toughing it out and for hearing me just vent about it, you know. It's one of those things that I think the human mind just isn't designed to comprehend, you know? It's one of those things that we just have to suffer through and deal with, you know? And I'm not suffering about it either. I mean, the families have it much worse off than I do, you know? And nothing but... And I want I want nothing but love and support and you know good thoughts and good vibes and good prayers for those people you know for people who knew these pe these two directly more intimately than I did. But yeah, man, it's just something you have to. I don't know. It's not fair. You know. I don't really know what else to say here. And I've wasted 20 minutes of your time. <laughs> Almost. Well, I don't know. It's You guys chose to watch the video, I guess, so thank you for that. Thank you, sincerely. Um, I guess all that's really left to say about it is that, uh, you know... We have to celebrate these 
to pe people's lives, you know, and cherish the good times that we had together, even though one of these people didn't really give me any personal good times. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, I, I guess with the person who bullied me, uh, what really sucks is that we are never now, there's not, now there's no chance for us to have that moment as adults where we can just reconnect and let bygones be bygones and just, you know, be adults and say, hey, you know, we were shitty to each other when we were kids. Let's just be adults now and just at least be on good terms, you know? But we won't have that now. Not that I ever tried to reach out to this person, you know? That's my fault. But I never thought they'd be gone this soon. Either. So. Anyway, I guess that's all I have to say about it. You know. You know, so honestly, my uh, deepest condolences to the families and friends and, you know, close you know, people that were close to these, closer to these people than I was, you know, I hope you're pulling through and doing well and, you know, finding love and support anywhere you can. And I guess the best lesson is, you know, just never take what you have for granted, you know, be grateful for everything you have, you know, your, your family, your life, your career, the things you love, the people you love just always, you know, do all you can for them, you know, and, uh, that's what I'm trying to do with my son and my wife now, you know, anyway, <sighs> love to all, <laughs> I guess I just have to sit here and process this, you know, but, uh, I guess all others to say, um, yeah. It's not fair, but that's life, I guess, you know. And my thoughts and prayers to all the families, you know, again. Anyway. Uh, I'll be back with another video that's a little more cheery and happy than this and edited and shorter, hopefully, but... Um, Anyways, uh, if you're still watching, thanks for listening to me rant. And uh, again, love to all. And spread the love to all. Please. Because we don't know how long we all have. And that's just the truth. Alright. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Which will be happier than this, hopefully. Okay. Um, take care, guys. Uh, stay tuned. And love you, love you all. Bye-bye.